It was in 2009 when RCB made the blockbuster buy of the charismatic Kevin Peterson at the auction. The team was brimming with a fine mix of superstars and young talent. In this episode of 14 Days of IPL Stories, we go all the way back to the second season of the Indian Premier League. Hey guys, welcome back to RCB 12th Man TV. The year was 2009, the second season of the IPL and it wasn't happening in India. In a blink of an eye, the carnival had been shifted to the Rainbow Nation, South Africa. You think of 2009 and we can't forget the heartbreak. But for an RCB fan, there was plenty to cheer all through the season. And here are our top three stories from a year which despite the sour ending, produced plenty of sweet memories. At number three, it was two Bengaluru legends that conquered the defending champions. It was the opening night of the season and RCB were up against the Rajasthan Royals. Some tight bowling by the Royals ensured RCB had to fight their way into the game. Who else but the wall himself? Rahul Dravid to rescue the team from a tight situation? Fresh from being relieved of the burden of captaincy, Dravid steadied the ship and took the team to a respectable 1-3-3 with a 48-ball 66, an innings that would prove to be invaluable. But with 1-3-3 on the board, the bowling unit needed to fire. And fire it did. It was the swing of Praveen Kumar that provided the early breakthroughs. Jumbo weaved his magic as the Royals fell like nine pins. Anil Kumble finished with five wickets for five runs, the kind of figures we only see in a video game. By the end of the evening, Rajasthan had folded for just 58. The two Bengaluru legends had delivered a knockout blow in round one of the season. Number two, Manish Pandey introduces himself to the world. There was a player trade between RCB and the Mumbai Indians prior to the 2009 season that did not get much attention. A 20-year-old Karnataka boy, Manish Pandey, with huge potential, had been acquired by RCB. He had spent most of his season on the sidelines, but with a top four finish all but guaranteed, the management decided to push him up the order. And boy, did he make the most of his opportunity. The game against the Deccan Chargers, the last league game of the season for RCB, was his chance. He looked his fluid best, classy batting and timing was there for the world to see. By the end of the innings, Manish had become the first ever Indian to score a century in the history of the IPL. He followed that up with a 48 of 35 in a pressure run chase in the semi-final against CSK. And the world had by now noticed Manish Pandey. And at number one, the Ross Taylor assault. The first half of the 2009 season had not been kind on the Royal Challengers Bangalore. But with just four wins from the first 10 games, every remaining game was a virtual knockout. Up against KKR, RCB were chasing 174 and at 80 for 3 after 12 overs, the season seemed to be on the brink. And then came the assault. Ross Taylor decided to take matters into his own hands, smashing the KKR bowlers to all parts of the field, but especially his favoured leg side hitting arc. An unbeaten 81 of just 33 deliveries had taken Bangalore home from an unlikely situation. It could well have been the innings that could be attributed to revitalising RCB's season as the team went on to win the next four games to make it to the all-important final. There were many on that list that we had to leave out. Of course, who could forget Anil Kumle opening the bowling and getting Adam Gilchrist bowled in the final? What are your favourite memories from the 2009 season? What have we left out? 12th Man Army, let us know in the comments below.